one of the things that I noticed like first about this group specifically, like they are so close. Uh, the, the whole team, you know, I, I, when I played, granted I was, I was an underclassman, but it just seemed like there wasn't the camaraderie that I see with you guys. Kind of a cool challenge he came up with us. He challenged us to look up our opponents um, from different schools. Oh yeah. To look them up by name and in the weeks up to a match, pray for, pray for them by name yeah. before the match and see how that changes our attitude. That was a very cool challenge that some of the guys on the team took to heart. Um, it changed my approach to my attitude in the match. I felt like a change through this year because of that. With the fact that Brandon like hammered that in our heads and that's something nobody has ever said to me before I have never heard anybody challenge me like that before like look up these opponents that you don't even know that you don't you have no clue who you're gonna play and just pray for them. hearing you guys share what your honest thoughts are there have been times where it's like real uh, where there have been disagreements it's been times where there's been tears where there's been like sincere need for prayer um, there's been time where there's like, who is God? And wrestling with um, like God in your own life. Should we be praying as a team individually? That was a huge conversation point for us. Um, what does our ministry look like? So yeah, we laugh a lot. Uh, you know, we, we, we have a ton of uh, really good like bonding moments that I think are great. And I, I always look forward to it. Um, but then we open the word. Uh, and we really do get serious about what's going on in the Bible. I think that it became real when I actually got to hit with you guys for the first time. That We had a conversation after that that was the most authentic, real conversation we'd had in a whole year. I'm like, my gosh, why didn't I start with this? <laughs> like, now the floodgates open. Now is all the conversation. And then you were going away for the summer. So we came back and we had those real conversations about Christ in competition. What does Jesus look like on this team? How are we glorifying him to other schools so that they know who Jesus is? And how are we seeing this as a ministry is what we've been talking about now. Everything we just talked about with competitiveness and stuff, it just made me realize it takes so much of the pressure off. Like mentally in a match, it takes the pressure off myself to realize that I'm playing my hardest, not really for myself, you yeah. know, but for the other guy, for God. Like, it's not about me, you know. Yeah. That, that made, that, and then that just makes you relax more. And then, you, and then you play your rest, you play, you know, you do whatever your abilities allow you to do, essentially. Yeah. And I think that that was a huge thing. Because um, in high school, it's all about, uh, for me at least, I felt it was all just about m me winning. Yeah, I gotta win, yeah. I gotta, you know, it's, yeah. it's not about that. I think that was a huge, me like that probably, that hit a lot of us, that, those messages at the beginning of the year hit a lot of us hard. Yeah. So. You know, since I became chaplain, uh, we started looking uh, at kind of several different themes, but the past in the fall, it was Christ in competition. Uh, and, and we had some real conversations because it's not like point blank, you know, turn your Bible to <laughs> chapter verse where it says, here's how you play a sport and be a Christian. Uh, it's not there. You're not going to see that. Instead, what you're going to see are the fruits of the Spirit. Instead, what you're going to see is Christ, and you're going to see how he redeems every single element of our existence. How does the Bible confront us? And how does the Bible confront our sin nature um, and call us to repentance? Those are hard conversations that we can have together because of the bond that's already on the team.